For anyone who's coming to see the play that's watching this right now, I just want to let you know how special it is for a theater like Steppenwolf, an institution of this size with this history, to produce a play like this right now. It's not your typical bag in any way. It's playing with traditional forms of theatrical performance, vaudevillian forms, music video, concert language. It's really putting together a lot of ways of performing. And for the audience, I just want them to know to kind of get ready because it's gonna be different. My introduction to the play, uh, I like to say, was really my introduction to James. Um, when I met James, I was so taken by his generosity and humanity. And when the piece was sent to me, it just spoke so loudly. It leapt off the page. And it leapt off the page because of the playwright's incredible combination of historical fact and truth with imagination and exploration. And I'd never really encountered anything that so boldly combined uh, a kind of uh, truth from our shared American past with this kind of beautiful black uh, performative aspect. We began working on this piece in February of 2020. As we all know, that is when all of our lives were shifted and paused and changed due to COVID-19. And we had gotten through several weeks of rehearsal and we're only a few days from tech. So we'd really put up a lot of the work and gotten to know each other. By we, I mean myself, the ensemble, the incredible artistic staff here, stage management. And it was a day or two before tech uh, when we had to stop. And it's a little bit surreal, but it's, it's very exciting because it's not quite the same piece of theater it was in 2020. It, it feels stronger, it feels better. The laughs hit harder, the drama hits harder. Um, so in a weird way, even though it was challenging and COVID has been a big challenge to our industry, um, I think it's bringing new gifts to the play. So my hope for the audience is that this play, because of how brilliantly it sneaks you into difficult truths with comedy, with uh, tropes of the now, with genre bending moments, music video techniques, all these different fun, uh, spectacular things in the play kind of help you look at a difficult truth. And so that's my hope for the audience is that they'll walk away a little bit more curious about the past, especially in this city where the past affects us every day. Yeah. Just a little more curious to lean in and learn. Why is that that way? How did we get here? If we look at how we got here, maybe we can change it. That's always my hope.